welcome to another video here at Michael Lemke at my workshop. First of all, I want to wish you a very happy new year. It's still time. Today is the 7th of uh, January. So it's about two weeks since my last video. And you remember, um, I received the body shell back, the uh, 2 plus 2 came back and we revealed the paint, which is um, silver grey opalescent and uh, I got such a good feedback I want to thank you for that for the uh, congratulations for my birthday wishes and for uh, for the uh, Christmas wishes and um, I also want to thank uh, Conrad was named Conrad Barup who used the um, the super sanks on YouTube so thank you very much for that is uh, very welcome the other thing I want to mention at the beginning is that uh, Dave you all know Dave oh and did you see the video did you see the video of Dave? Oh, Dave from Austria. Yes, Dave uh. from Austria. Dave, he has um, Carl Cave, a YouTube channel. Yeah. And Dave said, he got so frustrated in this video, I've seen his face and I know what he's talking about. He said he got everything ready, got the chrome bits back and the, uh, the hockey stick on the windscreen on the left and right, he said, he said he had that uh, at the wrong position and he had to cut them to fit to fit and get the re -crowned. And when I've seen that video, I was thinking, wow, did I check that on my? And, and, and we will check that now. So these have been, these have been re -crowned. And let's see. So I'm opening it now, first time. Wait, and oh, we need to check both sides. And we need to check, otherwise, if we wait until the last moment, and these are perfect. These are totally re-chromed, and they go on the car now. And we check now what, which side, we check your side first. This is the near side. Yeah, we need to compare that with the holes on here, because that one gets screwed on. Wait. Is that is that flush with the with the holes? Let me see where the hole is. Hole is where here's a hole. There it is there. So this one, unlike the the um, the cube, this one gets screwed on. There's another hole in here, and you see this is perfect aligned here. That is perfect, but Dave had the problem at the bottom here. So that does fit, and we actually we had the problem that this was touching the bulkhead here, and now this one is perfect, and you should have a little a little light underneath between the. Uh, you see that is it is not touching, and that is perfect. Can't be better than this one. And the other side, Owen, can you get the other pillar? We try the other side. Ooh. Is it coming? This is the issue Dave in Austria had with his XK150, I think, the, the maroon one. His one was touching here and always it's just, it's just, you know, it's just passing over. So that is perfect. Had a sleepless night when I've seen this video. I said I have to check it tomorrow because otherwise I will end up in the same, in the same situation as him. But uh, now I'm, I'm relieved. This fits perfectly. And it, that is the difference of new chrome. So apart from that, um, it's about two weeks, as I said, and I started to work on the, uh, on the body shell. It is two weeks which have passed, and I'm going to show you now what we have achieved in the first two weeks. So join me. So as you've seen in my other video, the first bit, um, to install I'm going through now again because uh, there's a German saying and that means uh, du musst das Eisen schmieden so lange wie es heiß ist and um, that means we're talking about while we're doing it so I'm repeating because I also did a mistake with a wiper but first things first so first thing is you get these um, these heater pipes in here this one first Second one is a vacuum house, which is only on the 4.2. Third one then is the, um, this one, which goes over the top here. And the last one is this one. After that, the best thing is I installed the wiper rack. And um, the best thing is you start with the middle one and that huge 
bracket which is in here or have the two outer spindles or have them separately and or it touch them later and there is there is a thing you need to know because when the painter is doing the ball cut usually these holes do get smaller than the spindle itself so you need to grind that off and don't try to push the um, the spindle through as you would crack or split the um, the paint on here and so you do this then you fiddle this adjuster that's a wiper adjuster this the, the stop function this one here is the automatic stop function for the wiper motor you fiddle that through here get that nut attached here then you go and mount the outer spindles and fix it and that's what I've done so that's all in here I have the new rubbers in there that doesn't mean I can't access that later I will check these um, at the end again and so that is what I wanted to tell you from the from the bulkhead side then what we have done we have done here a heat insulation usually the 2 plus 2 has a panel which is bent all around and is mounted to the to the floor here this one you can't get anymore so and i was thinking uh, so i've used this on my other cars and this is a great great insulation it does a really good job getting all this the gearbox tunnel completely covered on the outside to keep the heat out not letting it going through to the metal because then it would go via the metal to all the other parts on the interior so that is my belief that i'm having the heat staying outside rather than getting to the metal and then being spread via the metal sheets all over so that is one of the early things we have done we have mounted the blanking plates here these are already tight and fixed and they are sealed we have mounted the pedal boxes i left the um, the master cylinder off because i still need to to check the valves we have installed the wiring harness complete it's all around we still need to get the correct straps which i have and you see here when you install the, the, the front frames, make sure you don't forget this. This is the three-way connector, this one here. So don't forget this one. This reates, they have the horn, they have the horn push in the uh, in inside the bonnet, but the 4.2 they have the horn push mounted like this one here, and uh, you see the wires they're coming through. I haven't mounted this because I still need to go on here. I have installed the um, the overhauled steering rack is all new and you see here you will wonder what this is this is again the cool cat fan motor which is for my understanding the best cooling fan you can get and and it fits the original mounting brackets here and you can still turn it back into original it is just these four screws and that's it so the blade is coming on here i will then install the uh, the net here which protects the um, the radiator so that will be the next thing and you will wonder why I have left the bonnet on well, I have done that before you I left the bonnet on during the complete rebuilding process because I get the engine from underneath and that is for me from the lift so I will I will put the engine in the middle balance it and then I drop the body over the engine and then I will mount all the other bits in this way so that is um, why I'm a bit nervous getting the engine with the gearbox from the top in so I mounted these brackets and still and still these are all the original bolts and bits and still I'm struggling I'm missing a, a certain bolt length or for overlooked something and I'm preparing an order almost since since we got the car back and uh, I have I have a long list of four pages of small bits and pieces which I just placed last Friday and uh, so I'm desperately waiting for those small things like this bracket 
So this is the um, the bracket for the uh, for the uh, wiper motor, which will be the next part being installed in here. This is the I need to get this again uh, powder coated and then uh, then trimmed. That is the um, for the bracket for the uh, washer, and I'm trying to get a lot of things mounted to get better overview of what is left in the shelf and, and what I have still to get and find. Let's have a look on the inside. What have we done here? We have done the sound de-deeming. These are kind of original mats. We have done the, um, the uh, wiring harness. We have installed the handbrake, so that is all ready to be used. We have installed the, uh, the shifter, the gear shifter. This is the, the automatic. We have installed the, the fuses, the complete wiring harness is in here and um, as you see the wiper rack, this is coming here through, this is a, the, um, the stop function for the wipers and we installed the, uh, the acceleration pedal box, a pedal, the pedal box and the brake pedal box, an edge cover which has to be there, that is original. We have these covers on here. The rest will be uh, coconut mats and then covered with carpets. We have, so here you see, we have also installed the headliner. This is a bit of nasty thing. Takes you a couple of hours or might take you a few days because you need to replace it again, take it all off. So now here again we have the, um, the headliner, we have rolled this up to, uh, for easier handling. What we will do, we have marked, this is the middle of the roof and it's also the middle of the, um, of the headliner. We have the markings, the center of the width and that is also on the roof at the front. What we will do is we will put some glue on here and then we will enter the car. I will hold this just to give the direction and uh, and then we start to press this against the roof so that this doesn't move anymore when this is hanging down we will spray the ceiling with the um, adhesive and um, and then we push it from the middle towards the outside so, and here you see the tools we have we have this uh, pad we have this uh, this brush and we have this roll and here we get everything we glue So that will be glued first time, then there will be a second layer and um, then another layer sprayed onto the other. So here you now see the um, the headliner is cut here and then squeezed behind this edge here. and uh, that had to be done all around. That is what you see here. That is where the uh, headlight goes. You fiddle the uh, the wire through the, inter the interior light, sorry, and there we need to mount the um, those hooks 
which are holding the, uh, the curtains. We have, these are called the curtains. You see that here? These are the curtains. They, they are being pulled from the rear, from the interior light, from here. They will be pulled all the way along this line here. That's a rubber with the cloth on, and it will be cut off here. This is, this is the, uh, the front trim. This goes on, uh, this comes on here. Uh, will be mounted with the uh, with the uh, with the mirror and the uh, the sun visor brackets. So this is all done. You need to have this covered with vinyl because that will be visible when you fold back the rear seat. You have to add this vinyl to the B post because that will be visible when you come from here. There's a, there's a cover on this side clipped to it, but it doesn't cover the, co the corner. So if you forget this, you have to take it all out again. So that is vital to have that in there. And, um, and what you see here everywhere, this white stuff in here. So we did the, um, the mic senders anti-corrosion. I've squeezed the mic senders in here. You see that's about one kilo. And um, this needs to be warmed up. So I have that. This is my, comp my air compressor. I'm screwing this in here and this needs to be, it is a mess. And if you get someone who is doing that for you, you might trust him and you have someone doing the dirt job for you. But I'm showing you this, not because I like it, but it's because I wanted you to know how this works. That goes in here. And this is already heating up and I have my hoses like these ones here these are the houses and of course these will be later full of this grease and you see the nozzle here this is a nozzle spraying in all directions that is one tool and there's another one in here like this one which is uh, I have that in here to melt the grease in here and you see there's the grease you see this is dropping out at the bottom, come out at the bottom. So that's, I put that here. So now the grease is out and that is like hot oil. So I'm preparing myself with this. This is the glove from the sandblasting cabin. Let me see if I adjust that bit, a bit more volume here. You can adjust that here. Here's the volume plus and minus. And here's the air pressure. So now here you see how we prepared everything. We covered all this because in case you get the, uh, because you have to get with the house, with these, you have to get in here, you have to get in here, then you have to go out, and it might be that you have some oil dropping off. You need to get in here, all that all the way, and then you slowly come back. You might want to get in here, and you want to get in here. Go into here. This is always a spot where you get corrosion in here. So we'll do it here, here, and of course from this side as well. Into the silts, I will use, I can go in here, here, and here. I will go all the way down here. And probably in here, plus in here. So this is, this is why we have done all the bits there before and uh, it is a messy work I'm so happy when it's done
part of the uh, anti-corrosion, the um, the hollow chambers where we have been in with the um, with the nozzle and the and the and the hose. So that's all in here, there, 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 and it's uh, all we used about one and a half kilos, and I and you see that in these uh, holes is completely in inside the bulkhead is in every hole in every corner and that is a nasty job expect some will run out when we are in the heat but um, that is that is how it is and here is the uh, the rear end and you see so we have the headliner in and um, before you install these, and very often for some reason these get lost. These are the retainers for the um, for the headliners, and these are mounted at the ends here on the inside. And then you fold back that curtain. You fold that back and over the the teeth here, and that is how it, how it's been held in place. It's not glued on, but before you mount these, it is important that you get this this uh, cover in the uh, tailgate opening in here so this is a kind of rubber plastic and that needs to be installed before you mount these otherwise you have to take them off again and the nasty thing is if we have these mounted and the the seal the headliner is in and not this you have to take these out again and how do you get these out when it was all the teeth in here so that is important first the um, the opening the boot edge cover and then these and then you push that over that is important a few other bits here on the later on the later cars you see these coconut mats these have not been on the 3 8 these are we discovered on the 4 on the 4.2 and even more on the later ones this we have only seen on the 66 cars so that is in here and in here and here again the the, the boot mat, the uh, sound deadening, and um, so this car will be as original as it can be, and also as functional as it can be, and um, it will be a six years old car, but it will be as bright new. So the next steps then will be getting the. Uh, the dash parts in here, the instruments, get them all wired up, uh, getting the um, the rear wheel arc covers, and that is what we are doing here. These are the um, the panels which we have now to um, to cover, and this is the the left hand side. This is on the um, yeah behind the driver seat, and uh, we get these in. That is the next bit to be installed. And then we get the um, the rear seats in, and that will be the next bit. So, and I hope we get all that done in a couple of weeks again. I still have to to rebuild parts of the engine. The head is on, but I need to mount the auxiliaries, and uh, I still have uh, a few bits on the IRS to be installed. I got the wrong hub seals. For some reason, it must there was something wrong in the book, but I still have to get these. That's what I'm waiting for. And I hope that in two weeks' time, we have all this stuff in here. And uh, so please subscribe and make sure you're witnessing the next step.